I mentioned, you know, you know, one of the things that was hot on the internet. I think we talked about this the other night at Supercross when we were watching. We were having our Supercross watching party. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, we don't talk about any racing on this show at all. That's why we're just a, completely <laughs> ignoring Supercross. Um, I don't know what happened with Ziegler. That guy snuck in here without me knowing what was going <laughs> the on. Car guy. Um, everybody's talking about electric water pumps because yeah. somehow that made the that made the internet rounds. It's the new hot thing. It's like we can forget about ninety degree fuel lines being like a problem on motorcycles. We can just toss out the fact that every TPI bike will blow up no matter what. And I'm loving mine, by the way. I finally own one. I it's, saw yours. So you're it's mine. Good. Mine's cherry. I like it. It it rips. I'm really happy with it. And all I've done to it is um, uh, half or quarter turn of power valve adjustment. By the way, not recommended by KTM whatsoever. But I did it, and it worked good for me. And uh, then just put gas in it and race, ride. Right. So, but the electric water pump thing hit kind of critical mass this week. So. Uh, I kind of did a little little research, and now there's a couple people that are trying to jump on the bandwagon to uh, start selling electric water pumps because evidently that's going to free up some extra horsepower in your motorcycle. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, being a tile guy now, you yeah. know, uh, one of the things I had to do is I had, you know, I was mixing up a. Uh, the the grout and the and the thin set with my mm-hmm. with my little spade you know spinning this spade through kind of a thick heavy substance yeah. but then when I go to clean it I put it into the water and I and I spin it and I notice the very little and that's that thing's not really pushing water but it does push a lot of water and sure. it is kind of the same theory and I'm going who's buying the horsepower off of this. I mean, who's who's really buying that for horsepower? And I could tell you what, if you're a top team and you've got unlimited budget and you're looking for every single ounce sure. of power, yeah. You you might explore this, but I promise you there's 10 other things that you could do that could be much easier and more effective, like right down to I hate to bring this up, but the oil you run could Chris will back me up on this, Chris Real the petroleum expert that uh, I consult with when I have mm-hmm. questions like this, you could choose a different oil and it would make way more difference than converting, adding weight to your bike and more complexity and another point of failure with the electric water pump. But here's why I really think certain teams may or may not be running an electric water pump if they actually are. It's to it's to keep the engine running at the optimum temperature it's not for the drag reduction because you think about it and and depending on different kind of racing and 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 you know the speeds the motor the the motor may vary and the water pump is tied to the speed of the engine rpm Mm -hmm. and it's kind of consistent it doesn't change that much but and then and then another thing because i've tested this a bunch and there's like different impellers and different housings and then you can go to bigger or smaller radiators, and you can have a thermostat in or take a thermostat out. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do. If you actually wanted to control the t- water temperature easier, you would use a thermostat, sure. knowing that your radiators have the potential to cool the motorcycle Yeah, more than what the thermostat is going to run. Mm-hmm. And then the other, the other thing, and you'll see this a lot with certain bikes, is they start tying the oil cooling system into the radiator because where the heat is actually produced is in the clutch. So it kind of depends on the rider. There's so much going on here. But the fact that they, 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 these are the same internet dummies that are that I, that I see commenting on like the Dakar where they don't really know that much about it, but they're free to just drop a bomb of an opinion. This is where this is the same thing. And this happens way, way more on, on this kind of stuff. And I, and, and I'm going like, it's uh, it's it's the new hot thing. So I think we need to just, you know, like kind of, you know, pay attention to it, like, you know, absorb a little bit more information from the experts mm-hmm. before, but maybe if you're smart, you're already selling this electronic water pump and I'm going to sit here and laugh. No, I'm not. I'm going to no, I'm not going to laugh. I'm yeah. just going to be amazed at how many of those things you can you can <laughs> sell because evidently a factory team may or yeah. may not be yeah, yeah, no. running this. 
And the other thing about it is like if you're doing this like an AMA competition, you get to leave your other water pump on your motorcycle because you you can't modify this because it's oh. cases, you know, a yeah, lot of yeah. times. So I I don't think you're I don't I don't I don't know what the I mean it could be just be hollow inside there, but who yeah. knows? What's your take? Those guys are looking for. Different Did you buy stuff one for Logan and... yet? Because <laughs> I mean I mean we 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 no. need to have his race results improve. Yeah. So. No. So I mean, there's really no, we not, we should leave no stone unturned. Not looking for the last one millionth of a percent out of. Oh, anything. we need to. Yeah, yeah I, no. Logan, you need, tell your dad, electric fuel pump. I mean, electric uh, uh, water pump. Yeah. yeah, and tell him you want a better cam for your two-stroke, because <laughs> the internet said that. Well, you know, well, think about the two-stroke. Get a hot cam in that thing. You know the same. You know, if they just get rid of the oil out of the crankcase, that would free up a lot of horsepower too. That crank banging around in all that oil, right? Big deal. That's why Husky. Try put a, that's why Husky stuff. put a reed valve in their four-stroke motor back in the days. You know, Husberg did it too, but you know. But get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, get rid of that crankcase oil. Yeah, that's all the all this all the stuff you can uh, do these days. Uh, Bob woke up and is now raising his hand. Bob, <laughs> a question from the field. Ninety percent of the power absorbed by the gearbox. Is due to moving oil. Yeah, ninety percent of the power of absorbed by the gearbox. Let me think about this. Well, but so that's not the power transmitted. No, so if you have ten horsepower going into the transmission, yeah, you have eight horsepower coming out. Right. So the transmission's absorbed two horsepower. Right, transmission absorbed ninety percent of that absorption is because of the drag of the oil. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And so because the, the, stump, the, the gears to move the oil are tiny compared to the gears in a transmission. So, right. And, and if, if you've ever spun an oil pump gear just in a, in a modern four-stroke, you, know, you know, with the oil pump in there, with oil inside of it, you feel the drag. There's, yeah, there's drag there. And if you've ever turned your damn motor over and, and felt the drag it takes to lift the lift the the the, sure. the cam you know have the cam lift the lifter or the or push on the bucket or do all this stuff like there and and this is where teams spend a lot of money and time to determine how to reduce some of those yeah. sort of things you know how 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 light of a valve spring can we go to to okay. to reduce the 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 drag on this or the the force on this but then still close the valve quick enough yeah that's why to, a lot of, a lot of car you know, they're using electric, not, yeah. not production well, stuff, but electric valves that eliminate that, you know? Yeah, pneumatic, pneumatic electric. And, and yeah, there, all there is no mechanical drag. Yeah, on that. And mm -hmm. and so there's all different kinds of stuff. Like, might as well just take the flywheel off and go to total loss battery ignition. Why wouldn't you do this if you're really looking for drag? Because that, that, that drag on the flywheel with the, the magneto is a significant force. So sure. you guys just, uh, just hold... Yeah, you need a flywheel, but you don't have to have any magnets inside of it. Yeah, you don't have to have any. You don't have to have any any any. You know, um, you don't have to generate power there. Right. So when it's a mag magneto generating uh, current, it's stabilizing. The yeah, stabilizing the rod to a certain extent. Right. Stabilizing the crank. It's balancing the crank and rod, but the, it's just when it's generating electricity, that horsepower is taking away. Horsepower sure. is saying. yeah, exactly. It's that's yeah, what he's that's saying. What I Get say. rid Take, of it. And Hey, Just so, a, a so back in the day, and uh, you know, back in the day, uh, my my Honda XR80 that I was modifying to win World Backyard Supercross Championships. There was a time when we went to total loss ignitions, so we would just have a small battery and the points in there, and no flywheel mm -hmm. on the thing because then it then it went wabba wabba. It revs so stinking quick. So like like none of this stuff is new. But you guys just you know, slow down with pounding on the keys. Don't get all excited because somebody posted a picture of an electronic water pump on the uh, on the thing. Although you know, you probably should get one because you, you know then you'd be the first guy, and then you could tell everybody how much more power it makes. And I will offer a solution because I hate to complain without offering a solution. So when your bike is not making as much power as it should. The first thing and the only thing that you should do is get a big bore. No, 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 huh? no, no. Uh, turn, 
turn the throttle fire. Ah, yeah, that. just there's just that. turn. It's free and it works almost every time. Big book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Do we have any? Do we have any other? <laughs> qu- 